Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not To Comic Book. This being a show where we talk about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about episode 2 of Marvel's Hit Monkey. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. So we're immediately picking up afterwards, and obviously we have Bryce explaining, like, yeah, I was walking towards a bright light, and then I saw you, and, like, I'm here. So even he doesn't know, like, what necessarily draw it. I mean, he did bring up kind of what I brought up last episode about, like, ghosts and everything being attached to like people and objects and places so i guess it's just like yeah i'm stuck haunting a dumb monkey now i guess that's just all it is but also we don't get like i was wondering whether or not we'd get the monkey side of things but i guess like that's what the assassin plays that role i mean bryce plays that role so it's like he's responding to what the monkey's asking so i guess that's always because i was wondering i was like because i thought we were going to get maybe like speech stuff from time to time like like between him and uh his tribe his people his village as uh bryce says so but um obviously this is the monkey's first time in um going to Tokyo, which really quickly, I brought it up previously about the whole, because I saw in the trailer about the whole, like, limited reach of, like, how far they can get away from each other. Immediately, it reminded me of, uh, if you've never read the manga or even watched the anime of, there's a series called, uh, Beelzebub. Well, if you're familiar with this series, there's a character named Oga and Bell who, you know, can't, uh, be a certain distance away from each other without it causing catastrophe so it's almost a similar thing granted not the ramifications that Olga had to go through but uh, uh, regardless uh but obviously he is just a monkey that's lived in the mountains his entire life so going to the big city a big city like Tokyo and the lights the noise everything was just like over stimulating and so but you do see the looks on people's faces like, why is there just like a monkey with a bag just like running around? Well, he goes and visits the old lady, which Bryce is like, ah, it ain't much to this. It's like, oh, maybe the old lady's, uh, she's out or maybe she's already dead. I mean, he's like, I, the lady pretty much had tuberculosis, to the, tuberculosis when I met her. So, but it turns out she like gassed him. Could you immediately tell like the monkey didn't appreciate because he saw all the dead animals and it's just like, it hit him. It's like, yeah, these are like my fellow, um creatures like we're animals we're all animals so it's like watching your distant cousins brethren in the animal kingdom not like you're related but you're still all under the animal kingdom getting slaughtered it's not that i mean i'm sure it also reminds you just like right of your your people getting slaughtered so she gassed him and plans on killing him luckily he breaks free which i do like that it's like he, because he got away just in time it buzzed the hair near his butt so like he's got like as price kind of points out later on like a special cut and home lady like old lady is trying to kill him good and so i i love the whole thing of like right her getting knocked into the thing and it like crushing her arm but she's like oh this ain't gonna sound. i only need one arm to kill you she ties it off and he's like this lady is psycho um but yeah, she fell down on a thing, and I loved it. It's like, all right, ask her, like, who does she work for? And he's asking, and it's like, oh, crap, like, learn sign language or something, because she doesn't understand him. And immediately gets split in half. You're like, wow, that's some gnarly shit, dude. That was wild. And it's like, oh, well, you know, uh, which half do you want to interrogate? And it's like, all right, get the money. And then later on, he's like, oh, she's like, no, it's not blood money. Well, actually, it is literal blood money, because there's literally blood splattered all over it. But still... You know, it's like, you earned that money, so it's not that bad. Shows up at the hotel, and I love the guy was like, <gasps> and then just like, all right, I'll set the money, move on. All right, whatever. That's also the thing, too. Like, it's the Marvel Universe, but I'm wondering how much is established. Maybe there's, like, little background references. I haven't seen anything. Uh, it seems like, I mean, but also, like, I'm not the Marvel person to know what to look for. Like, I, I consider myself a noob still in all of this, so I know probably above average what someone else might know. Uh, just because my own personal, like, um, like times I've like looked into stuff on my own, but I don't know anything that's popped up. That's been like really like Marvel related, like, Oh, what's this already established and what exists in this universe? It might just be a thing of like, no, this is a very isolated story. So we're keeping it low key. It just, it's all in Tokyo and we're just leaving it at that. But, um, I think it's interesting. Like he was in the, the spa or rather, um, the water and obviously it made him think about his ancestor well not ancestor i don't know why i said that the um one of the people from his tribe like the leader being like oh you killed an old woman like you know do you think we'd be proud of that but it's like i'm getting revenge you think revenge will bring us back so 
at the same time this is all happening, we get introduced to uh, Ito's new partner, was it uh, Haruka, who is a very like, oh, by the books type. Obviously what she learned about him, it's like, right, you took a bribe, you could have been like, gotten a higher position, but your career basically got stalled because you got caught uh, taking a bribe and uh, obviously you don't follow the rules and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, but the person who killed my partner, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to try and find them. I'm going to find them. And then I'm not going to arrest him. And she's like, so I'm going to arrest him. He's like, no, I'm going to kill them. And she's like, oh, uh, okay, got you. Uh, this also made me backstep my assuredness about, uh, I think her, um, Akiko's uncle's name is uh, Shinji, I believe. And I was kind of like, oh, it's all, but it's like, yeah, him like, cause I was, I was still unsure when he was like reluctant to run. But like the fact is that he didn't immediately go like, yeah, I'm gonna take over, uh, Ken's place, but I'm like, it, it could still be a long con, but I'm kind of pulling back. I'm going to be upset with myself as it turns out, oh no, he is a part of all of this. It's like, damn it, I should have stuck to my guns. But for now, I'm pulling back a little bit because Akiko was the one that kind of made him push forward to it because it's like, right, the progress that Ken started, we can't back down now. The election's in like six weeks, but we were kind of in the lead and we just need a new uh, person to take charge, a new candidate, and she suggests her uncle because the uh, opposition, the other person that was running, just goes about like, oh, it's such a shame that he died. Like, you know, now this makes it too easy because I wanted to crush him. But now it's like, oh, I'm just certainly going to win. It's like, right, he wasn't there to mourn their loss. It's just kind of like, oh, yeah, I'm actually here to gloat because I know this is actually going to be 100% of a win. Yes, yay me. Uh, but, you know, Shinji was reluctant to run. And at Ken's uh, kind of memorial, uh, because that's where they uh, find themselves at... Uh, Right, because they uh, saw the general, and uh, that's what sparked them following him. And um, because immediately, Bryce remembered them being like, oh, these are the guys, the one, two, 28, they're the guys that picked me up. So that general, which he believed, because one of the guys survived the encounter last episode, and he just kept saying monkey. He's like, oh, it, you know, monkeys don't use weapons or tools. I was like, oh, actually, I watched a documentary, shut up. Monkey's obviously a code name. Find whoever it is and kill them, you know. But uh, they end up going to the funeral, which Bryce is against because at first he's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to go. I've never been to the funeral of one of my victims. And I am and I love that, like, Ken's wife is tearing into him. It's like, oh, this small, in basically insignificant man. My husband will be remembered. This killer won't. Just a killer with a gun. He's like, yeah, that's a little harsh. Come on, you know. But you could tell he is still feeling bad about it. Like, he felt bad about it afterwards, but it's like, you still went through with it regardless. I don't know whether his justification could be, like, he's used to killing pieces of crap. So, like, he finds out, like, oh, it was, like, a good cop I ended up killing. It was a, an honorable guy. Like, you know, maybe it's like, yeah, I'm being hired to kill people, but usually it's shitty people who hire me to kill other shitty people. So maybe, like, this situation ended up hitting him a little different. We, we don't know the full... Um, Rolodex of all the names that have been on his list, you know, so, but he is like, you know, trying to follow the general and we do meet the man behind all of this, but his face, is, he's facing the wrong way. And I love that, like, uh, the general is kind of like, hey, like, tell me you're not going to try and get rid of me. And it's like, you know, oh, you can't do this. And he was like, oh, he's like, I think you're forgetting who it is that you're talking to. But before uh, Bryce could see his face, he gets sucked away because the monkey's being chased by the kid who was like, oh, monkey, I want you. Uh, because at the same time, like, he's dealing with, like, well, the monkey wanted to go after those guys. That one guy who threw, like, a uh, shuriken and ended up, like, slicing off the head of a burger. Like, Jesus. Once again, the borderline um, signs of a psychopath of killing animals. So I was like, man, that's super jacked up. Which we later on see, like, oh, yeah, their faces were ripped up because, like, he straight up killed them because of what they did. So, uh, but he was trying to blend it, which I love that, like, when they were sneaking in, he's like, no, 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 go through the back door like a professional. And I love that Bryce is like, because his ghost thing is like, oh, I'm not even just going to face through the wall. I'm actually just going to walk up the wall. I was like, your ghost rules are weird because you could definitely face through stuff. But the fact that you're just choosing to walk up the wall. OK, sure. It's like, right. I don't want to be a basic ass ghost or something. I guess it's a justification for that. But um, later on, our monkey. Uh, well, what was that line uh, really quickly? Oh, it was like, yeah, I can see your sphincter like opening and closing with all the effort or something like that. Um, 
I even I had skipped over it, but I did love the whole like um, comparison. He was like, "Oh, I'm like uh, this is like a uh, Beetlejuice and Winona Herb, uh, Patrick Swayze and uh, Demi Moore and Ghost." And it's like, wait, you haven't seen Ghost? He made another reference. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head, but um, other than that, our monkey finally gets suited up to kind of keep himself hidden because it's like, right, I am very like out there as a monkey, so. As um, Shinji's giving his speech, kind of, it's like, right, it's not a him pulling out. It's actually not just a eulogy. It's him uh, announcing his candidacy, which the, the opposing guy was not too happy about. Luckily, he has Akiko, who is a speechwriter, so, it, you know, she nailed all that was needed to be said. Uh, but then chaos ensues because, like, the different gangs there start going at it. And the monkey, like, gets triggered by all the death and the guns firing. And he goes bananas and starts blasting and killing everybody. Even protecting Akiko at one point in time because she was trying to stop all of this. And, uh, yeah, in that moment they locked eyes. And, like, he had kind of come back to his senses. So, then they go after the general dude. But he gets pushed out into the middle of the road and gets run over. Which is, like... Every time we find a lead, you're not letting any one of these people live long enough for us to pump them for information. So it's like, all right, can you at least get his wallet? Good, thank you. Thank you. And so they have to get out of there before the cops arrive, which we see at the end. Uh, Ido and Haruka, who she saw him pick up um, something at a crime scene and she she couldn't tell what it was. So she thought it was drugs. She's like, right. I'm, I promised myself when I was going to be here, I wasn't going to change myself. If you're going to steal drugs or something from and he shows it. She's like, oh. And then they see the surveillance footage and a freeze frame on it to see the monkey. And they're looking at it. She's like, wait, what are we looking at? So, but the monkey is fascinated with Akiko, which obviously he brings, Bryce brings up being in love with a second grade teacher. was like, hey, me too, bro. I was in love with my second grade teacher too, Miss Smith. I, to, really quickly, I, I think Miss Smith was like, I think still to date might be one of the prettiest women I've ever seen in my natural life. I mean, we're not talking just like actresses and models, just like in your own circle of like people you know. She, to me, she was and probably always will be like one of the prettiest women because she was also like super sweet and kind and it's just like pitter patter went my heart. Tangents and all that aside, uh, it, it just made me think of that just because he's like, oh, you're literally in love with your second grade teacher. But he was like, oh, yeah, I knew I had no chance in hell. And he's basically trying to tell the monkey the same thing. It's like, right, because you're a monkey and she's a human. So that's going to be a no, no. Not unless we not unless we get weird with it because the show is what it is. So it could get weird like that. So. We'll ultimately have to wait and see where things kind of go uh, from there, but. Like we kind of got introduced to what might be our main antagonist, who he is, why he's the operation behind us. Because the general dude was asking, like, he wanted to know who else was involved in all of this. So there's still a lot of people that are being kept in the shadows. He seems like the main, main guy for now until it gets revealed that, oh, who's the man behind the man behind the mask or something like that. You know, it's like, oh, this guy's wearing a mask, but there's someone behind him or in charge of him. So we'll have to um, wait and see where all this goes as like. You know, all this is happening. Uh, the monkey's on the path of revenge for him and Bryce. But also, the cops are involved now. And they're not necessarily hot on your trail. Because it's like, what are we even looking at here with a monkey? So, we'll see how that plays out. Um, I didn't talk about it last episode. But I do like a lot of the music and stuff like that. It's weird to say, like, the closest thing I could compare. It's not a one-to-one. -one. It's it's a weird stretch. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, that 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 like music you kind of wouldn't expect it kind of reminds me of like samurai shampoo you wouldn't expect that music to flow with the the show the way it does uh the way they like utilize it like that and like the opening and then the, the ending and stuff like that and how even then they kind of use it like that in throughout the show it just kind of made me think of that um i also thought it was pretty dope at the end there where they like it's like oh if you like the show like here's some graphic novels to check out related to hit monkey i was like oh that's it i was trying to remember I was like something else did that but i couldn't remember what it was but i remember now it's um the Modoc uh, on uh, Mahulu as well, it did that. I, I want to say something else did, but that might be someone recommended. Because I remember something like that with Fables uh, when Wolf Among Us came out. But I think it's just someone who did a video about it also like linked to like the other, like the graphic novels of Fables. I think that's what it was. I think that's what I'm thinking of. I can't remember. I feel like that many shows do. I wonder, did they ever do that for Hellstrom or not? 
I definitely remember it from Modoc, but I don't remember. I wonder did they do it last episode too of this uh, in episode one? Because I definitely I only saw it in this one because I stuck around to like the very very end of it. Uh, but regardless, I'm uh, I'm excited to see where all this ends up taking us going forward into the next episode. But really, that's all I'm going to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.